One of the most darling events held at this year's festival was the Diaper Derby, sponsored by Children's World on WYXY Radio. The babies that were entered had to crawl along a floor mat in the Orange Dome as they were coaxed along by family and friends. Why is your bed shut the window? have with us winner number one. First of all, let's talk to the mother. What is your name? Lois Gonzalez. And what is your baby's name? Candace. And we have here the award already to give to you from Children's World. And Kelly from Children's World has the 1984 Florida Citrus Festival Champion of the Diaper Derby. Congratulations. You're a winner. How old is your baby? Seven months. What is your favorite part of the carnival today? The food. <laughs> and what have you sampled thus far? Uh, corn dog and hot dogs and popcorn and a candy apple and a Coke. And <laughs> How do you feel right now at this moment? How do I feel? Tired. <laughs> right now we're inside the Orange Dome at a very nice display called Dolls by Sharon. And guess who she is? She is Sharon. How are you tonight? I'm fine. How are you? Just fine. And what are you holding there? One of your creations? Yes, I am. This is a all handmade night lamp. It's a doll. It's all preformed out of little tiny crystals. It's fused together. It's not unbreakable, but it's almost unbreakable. And this is actually a night lamp? Yes, it is. The underneath has got a Christmas tree light bulb, seven and a half watt. So in reality, this would make a nice night light for a little girl's room? A little girl's room or a television room beautiful presents for grandparents to take back north to their grandchildren. And where do you make these dolls? In Crystal Springs, Florida. That's just out of Zephyr Hills. And if someone wanted to perhaps purchase one of those, how might they get in touch with you? They could call us at 788-1233. That's in Crystal Springs. And if they forget that, how is your home listed? We're listed as Julius Granger in Zephyr Hills. Okay, if you will, tell me, how long does it take to make something like this? Well, it's done in stages. Usually we have one day that we'll do nothing but run skirts and, and form the skirts. And then the next process is gluing the doll. It's a little half doll that we glue it on. And then we use a different type mold to mold the, it's all a hand molded hot, 450 degrees on the little blouses. And then the little hats there, we have a little tiny mold that we use to mold the hats. And here at the festival, how much are these doll lamps? There's, we're running a special on them for the festival for $10. And I notice they come in various colors. Is there any particular color that has been selling best here at the festival? Well, the blue is doing real well, and the red, since it's Valentine's Day. We have little Valentine ribbons on them that says, Be My Valentine. And then we have uh, the ones that say Florida Citrus Festival on them for souvenirs. And how long have you been making these dolls? We've been making them for about six months now. And you and your husband, I understand, are involved in the business, oh, yes. right? He helps me a great deal. He does all the electrical work, and he, a lot of times he puts the hats on for me. He doesn't do the blouses, though. Okay, that's the ladies' department, and you handle that, I suppose. Right. What's your favorite part of the carnival today? The roller coaster. And what have you got there in your hand? A cold bottle. Where'd you win that thing? Right over there. What'd you have to do to win it? Knock down two Coke bottles. Well, congratulations for winning that. And what is your name? I'm Madeline Jordan. And what have you got there, Madeline? Homemade fudge. The best you've ever eaten. Well, may I try some? Sure. This is the plain. We have four flavors. That is good. Isn't that good? Very it's good. like your mother used to make. My mother never made the fudge in our family. My father did. Oh, okay. What other flavors besides the basic? Okay, we have chocolate peanut butter, a panucci, pecan, and then the plain. And what is panucci? It is a maple, a vanilla maple. It's very good. Would you like to try some of that? I want some of that peanut butter. Have you got any of that? Oh, yes, we sure do. It's a double layer. Here you go. Now, isn't that good? Okay. Very good. Very good. And what is the name of the booth here? Okay, this is the Fudge Place, and the shop is located in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Who is this gentleman behind us here? Okay, this is the creator of the Fudge. This is Charlie Kennard. It's his recipe. Let me ask you, Charlie, when did you first start creating your special fudge? 
Well, when I started, when I was about 10, 11 years old, cooking at home in little spots and bits and pieces, and then about 1977, I decided I was tired of all the other so-called so fudge on the market. And um, so I went was walking through a shopping center one day, and they was fixed to make a little uh, little shops and things. So I rented a space, built the built the candy store. And the morning I opened up, I was uh, cooking the first large batch of fudge I ever cooked in my life. I found out real quick that you don't take a two-pound recipe and multiply it times ten. <laughs> How long have you been coming to the Citrus Festival, or is this your first year? This is our first year. Our, our people do about three to four hundred shows a year, but we're primarily in the Carolinas and Virginia, a little of Georgia. This is the first time we have come down into the Florida market. What is your favorite part of the carnival today? Well, the favorite part is the games. I like the games, most of the games, and um, well, riding the rides are great. What'd you have to do to win those things there? Well, I had to play 50 cent on the spots, the colors, and uh -huh. throw the ball over in a circle, and the colors that it stop on, you win. And what's your name? Leon Forte. Where are you from? Warner Haven. Now we're at the Golden West booth out in front of the Orange Dome at the Citrus Festival. And what is your name? My name is Mike Tui. And where are you from, Mike? Uh, Minneapolis. And what is the exact thing that you're selling here? I see hats behind us, but what do I see in front of me here? Well, we've got a variety of hat tacks and turquoise jewelry. And uh, if you will, let's try on a hat here and see if old Dan can get fitted for a hat while we're actually standing here. What do you suggest here? Pick out a good one. Here's one here. Uh, this one's made by Stetson here. Okay. It's on sale for $18. All That's right. a Permafill. Well, there it is, an $18 hat on Big Headed Dan Hogan right there. And let's check the size here. Size seven and a half. And what is the price range of the hats here, if you will? Well, they start at about $18. And and go up to what? Oh, about 30 with a feather band. And looking down here at all these colorful hats I see here, what's the price range down here? Those hats you get for $10, your choice of any hat with a feather band and a tail feather. Get the, the whole works for $10. And of all the hats we see here today, what's your biggest seller? Well, they all sell pretty good. They're all about even. Is this the first time you've been at the festival? No, it's our second year. You think you'll come back again? Oh, yeah. What is your favorite part of the carnival? Uh, the games, I would say. And what is your name? Don Dowdy. And where are you from? Winter Haven. And what is your name? Joyce Dowdy. And what's your favorite part? Well, I guess the games, too. What is your name? Mary Mosby. And where are you from? Winter Haven. And what is your favorite part of the carnival today? The swing ride. I really enjoy that. And does your child here have a favorite? The merry-go-round. Okay. What is your name? Richard Klein. And you're one of the fair workers, is that correct? Yes, sir. How long have you been with this show? This here's my one year spot. And did you join here last year? Yes, sir, I did. So this is kind of like an anniversary for you then? This is one year with the fair. Has it been a fun year for you? Really fun. It really has. And let me ask what you have to do here on the carousel. Just make sure the kids are safe and happy. And let me ask this. Is there any particular age group that seems to enjoy this the most? The older ones late at night. I see, and that's usually called Midnight Madness, I understand. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> What did you do before you started working on the carousel here a year ago? I was a mechanic. Now, do you have to do any mechanical work here on the carousel? Let me ask you that. Yeah, putting it up, tearing it down, and just minor maintenance. And since you've been here at the Florida Citrus Festival, have you wound up with any mechanical or maintenance problems? None whatsoever. So things are looking good? She's really running quiet and good. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you. What is your favorite part of the carnival today? The rides. And what is your favorite? part? The rides. Thank you. Speed drag. And what is your favorite part of the carnival today? Just watching the kids and having fun. What's your name? Lynn Lambden. And? I'm from Auburndale. And what's your favorite part of today's carnival? The spook house. <laughs> what's your name? Tommy Levins. And you're from Auburndale and that spook house. The same. Right. Did you go on it together, I think? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's less scary that way. Yeah. What is your name? Rosalie Hazard. What city are you from? Marbury. <laughs> what's your name? Louise Hazard. Where are you from? Mulberry. And what's your favorite? The Himalaya. And 
What is your favorite part of the festival, sir? Uh, the people. And what is your name? Dave Parton. And tell me this, Dave, why are the people your favorite part of this event? <laughs> well, I think everybody comes out here with an even chance. Florida Leasing and Motors at 2737 Highway 92 East in Lakeland is Polk County's largest independent dealer, moving tremendous volumes of cars, trucks, and vans every month. Florida Leasing and Motors can arrange convenient 60-month bank financing on any of its extensive line of quality automobiles, including stylish vets, luxurious Mercedes, and rugged 4x4s. Get at least $1,500 for any trade-in at Florida Leasing and Motors, 2737 Highway 92 East in Lakeland. Well, it's time now to take a look at the Midway and all the wonderful carnival rides. And at the same time, we're going to give you a look at the community calendar for this week. The Taproot Theater will be at Brigham Elementary Thursday, March 1st, and at Janie Howard Elementary on Friday, March the 2nd. The Florida Strawberry Festival will be going on in Plant City beginning Thursday, March 1st, and then continuing on through Saturday, March the 10th. The annual Strawberry Festival Parade will be held on Monday, March the 5th. The Winter Haven Area Sertoma Clubs are sponsoring their first annual Spring Fest Thursday, March 8th through Saturday, March 10th at the Northgate Shopping Center in Winter Haven. The event will feature Bertie Castle and a German band. Hours will be 4 p.m. to 12 midnight Thursday and Friday and then 12 noon to midnight on Saturday. Meanwhile, on Saturday, March the 3rd, the Lake Alfred Beautification Committee will be having a citywide cleanup. Participants are asked to meet at 8.30 a.m. Saturday, March 3rd at the First Bankers Bank in Lake Alfred. A barbecue will be held at 11 a.m. on that day at the fire station, and a fertilizer sale will go on throughout that weekend to encourage beautiful yards. On those dog day afternoons, water is fun. Or water can be a pain. Oh, no, and I have company coming for dinner. Now's the time you need consolidated sewer and drain service. When the blue truck pulls up in front of your house, you can count on our 18 years of service experience and modern equipment to unclog those pipes fast. And you can count on prompt personal attention from a locally owned and operated company. We send your problems where they belong, down the drain. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm coming down to my last dollar here at the Citrus Festival, and I'm going to give it to this pretty lady here from Germany. Okay. Now, let me ask you specifically what I have to do here. Bust a balloon. And I win a prize, is that correct? You always win, because there's a number behind, there's a number behind each balloon. You always win. You gonna wish me luck? Oh, lots of luck. What's your name, dear? Oh, my name is Frida. Thank you, Frida. Get out of the way, because I'm dangerous when I operate with darts. We'll see what old Dan Hogan can do here. All right, I got one, and that was on dart number one. I'll try dart number two and see what happens here. Uh-oh. Can't w break a balloon all the time, the way I'm doing it, at least. And there's dart number three. I broke two balloons. What do I get for that? This will be interesting to find out here. Okay, each one has a number. Each one has a number, she says, and behind mine is number one. And number one again. Yeah. Okay. One and one is two, that means you get a small prize. May I see my small prize? <laughs> I love winning prizes. How darling. You get a pack man. Man, ladies and gentlemen, that's what Dan Hogan won on his last dollar here at the fair. And what's great about this particular booth is you win every time. And tell us what happens for the kids, Frida. Well, the kids, if you get three dots for a dollar, but if I have to give them like 20 dots, I will because I believe in a carnival, a child should always win. We come here to eat, but a, a child should win, right? Should play. Absolutely, and I think that's grand here at the Dart Game talking to Frida. And that's our show for tonight, folks. Hope you enjoyed our visit here at the Citrus Festival for 1984. Join us again next week at 7 o'clock right here on local cable channel 8 for another edition of Centel Spotlight. I'm your host, Dan Hogan. Good night.